Welcome back as, uh, to it as it happens. I'm Patricia DeLille, the Executive Mayor of the City of Cape Town. Uh, I'm still with my guest, uh, the former Vice Chancellor of the University of the Free State, Professor Jonathan Jansen. And it's time now to take your calls live on 011-759-6340. And my first caller is from Cape Town. Victor, good evening. Hello to you, Mr. Lowe. Good evening, Victor. How are you? I'm doing fine. Yourself? Okay, I'm fine. I'm also fine. Thank you. Okay, I've got a number of issues, but I'm, I'm, trying, I'm going to try to limit it to, to the ones that really bothers me, okay? Yeah. Okay, first of all, I, 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 I've got a concern over the gap which there is between the politicians and the local people, the poor and those in poverty. Okay, it seems to me that there is really no, no transparency or no connection with regards to when you've got issues, how to connect with your local government as to put your issues in, 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 uh, on the table. I'm going to tell you why. I visited in 2015 the DA office in Cape Town, okay? I made an appointment to see the, 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 the minister or the person in charge of, 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 of human settlement. I was promised that the person, somebody will call me back. Up till now, it's 2018, I haven't received no call from nobody. That is from the DA. Secondly, uh, the, uh, 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 there was a visit from, from, from um, on the Day Zero project. It was a visit from uh, the Premier here in Belha, and I, 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 I made an appointment with, the, the, tried to make an appointment with the, with the Premier, and I was promised that she will come back to me, and there was no contact whatsoever up to this very day, and that visit from the Premier was in, in, in um, March, yeah, the 28th of March, okay? So what I'm trying to say is that... Yeah. Victor, first of all, I'm sorry to hear about your problems, but I'll take your number and after, once I go off air, I will give you a call and then we can go into the detail. But your first port of call with the local government issue is to contact your ward councillor. Uh, you know, people elect them every five years. If you get no luck from your ward councillor, we also have got sub-council officers all over the city. But my cell phone number is on the city website. Anybody can have access to me. I've got a Twitter account, a Facebook account, because we want to make the city to become more responsive. In fact, in the coming week that's coming now, I'm going to have a pop-up office in different areas on different days where people can come and connect with the city. But I will definitely attend to your problems after the, the show tonight. Tandi, next caller from Kailicha. Good evening, Ma'am Patricia. Good evening, um, Tandi. Yes, Ma'am. Could you please reason with me here? I just need to know, did you send the SMS or not? <laughs> I knew it was going to come. I'm so happy that finally this SMS emerged after five months of my lawyers asking for the SMS so it could be tested in the disciplinary hearing. Now that it has appeared from nowhere, uh, when the disciplinary hearing uh, uh, um, presume later on in, um, in the year, whenever it's going to presume, I don't know, it must be tested. And that is where I will give my answers because it's no use keeping evidence away for five months and now you want me to answer to it, but I will answer to it in a properly constituted disciplinary hearing that's coming. Thank you so much, Tandy, for your call. Good evening, Lesidi. Hi, hi, this is Patricia. How are you? I'm fine, my brother. Yourself? I'm fine. Um, on, that, on that question that um, she just asked you now, um, I just need to know from you um, what the future holds for you because now it seems as if the allegations that you're going to go and join the ANC. Um, which we we'll all know that it's corrupt. Are you one or the other considering joining the ANC or even the EFF? But for now, it seems as if um, we don't know going, and it seems as if um, you're losing the one now. So I need to find out from you. 
Sidi, thank you for your call. There's a lot of speculation. I have the president, Xilal Amaposa, at the Jazz Festival, then I'm going to the ANC. The next week, I go to Mama Winnie's um, uh, service in Brantford, then I'm going to the EFF. I can only pronounce on my future once I have cleared my name. My name is being smeared in public, it needs to be cleared in public, and I think I owe that to South Africans, and I will take you in my confidence to tell you what my future is like. Yes, Prof, is there um, anything from your side uh, in closing? No, except I, <clears throat> I'm waiting to hear about your future. And, uh, um, you want me to come retire with you, Prof? No, I'm not retired. I would no, like to play a bit more you'd golf. Be, you'd be a good professor. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Hi, Peter. Peter from Cape Town. Good evening, my brother. How are you doing? Doing fine yourself. It's raining I'm in Cape Town, enough. so I'm very happy. Uh, yes, madam. Yes. Um, uh, just one question. Um, um, a lot of time uh, uh, we, um, we speak about abuse of children at school, but many a times they don't speak about the teachers that's being abused. There's no help for the teachers. The unions don't help. The education department don't help. That's why many teachers, passionate teachers, is leaving the profession. What can the teachers do about the abuse of them by the learners? Thank you, Madam Mayor. Well, I'm going to ask Professor to answer that one. It is really sad that many of our, our, our teachers, our, our, our educators are on the tread. They go to work nervous. They don't know whether they're going to come back. What do you think, Prof, can, can be done? Well, first of all, uh, I think Peter's raising a really real issue. Hmm. Uh, the level of burnout among South African teachers yes. is very, very high. Yeah. Large classes, school violence around the school. Yes. You know the story. So I think it's very, very important to when you feel that the stress to call out for help. Yeah. You know, it's no use to just continue to go to work until you drop. Yes. So I think it's very important to use the resources that is available in the Western Cape Education yeah. Department to look at uh, our groups. There's some people forming groups. Greg Flotman, for example, yeah. a former principal, uh, he's formed a group and people talk and they share ideas. But it's very important not yeah. to suffer in silence and to take care of yourself. Yes. Well, it's a great opportunity also to say thank you to all our educators. We know the sacrifices that you are making, the long hours that you are working to educate our children, and we certainly appreciate it. But uh, this is all we have time for tonight, for the special edition as it happens. Tomorrow night, at the same time, Fikile Mambalula from the ANC will be here. And thank you for watching and good night.